After being drugged, Sano, whose parents had disappeared since childhood, unexpectedly had a romantic encounter with Fu Sian, the leader of the top wealthy Fu family in a city. I thought the two of them would never intersect again, but when they met again, Sano was horrified to find out that he was pregnant with this big shot's cub. Fu Sian has always been indifferent, reserved, and not close to women. Until the age of 30, there were no women around him. One day, a little girl suddenly appeared next to this master. At first, everyone thought that Sanua was a delicate sparrow that Fu Sian had raised on a whim. Although she married into the Fu family with her child, she would soon be divorced and kicked out of the Fu family. Year after year passed, and Sano remained firmly seated in the position of the young lady of the Fu family. Everyone speculates that perhaps Fu Sian, who is so cold-hearted and aloof, doesn't care who he marries at all. However, after a charity party ended, people found that Sano, who had left halfway, was held in the corner by Fu Sian. The man who used to be as cold as a god bowed to her and asked her repeatedly, Noah Noah, why did you just look at him? No one knows that from the first moment he saw Sano, he had been working hard and calculating step by step. Just to accompany her from 19 to 20.9, and then for the long rest of her life. We spend our twilight days together, year after year. Chapter 1 One Night After Drinking you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Why are you so slow? You're dragging around even when you give something away, don't you have long legs? In the noisy bar, a boy with dyed yellow hair was scolding the girl in front of him with disgust on his face. The classmates next to the young boy were originally laughing, drinking, and playing games. When they heard this, they couldn't help but look over. When they saw the girl, they couldn't help but be taken aback. The girl wore a snow.white face the size of a palm, with a pair of apricot eyes that were jet black and clear. Her black hair spread out, and she looked clean and pure. Although she didn't look as beautiful as those internet celebrities at first glance, she made people like her more and more. She was truly the youthful white moonlight that all men dream of. Hey, Sang Liang, this is your sister. Why didn't you introduce her earlier? After the student next to the boy regained consciousness, his eyes turned and he pushed him with his shoulder, smiling with a malicious expression. Sister, it's also hard to give things. She can't be considered my sister. She eats for my family and uses my families, and it's hard to give something. Sang Liang still looked disdainful, but for the sake of the face of his classmates, he still said the girl's name, her name is Sang Nuo. Sano lowered her eyes and awkwardly clenched her yellowed wash tea dot shirt, but it wasn't the first time in recent years that Sang Liang had said that to outsiders. She had been embarrassed for a long time and now she was gradually numb. Hi, don't say that. It's our first time seeing Sister Sano, come and have a drink with us. Several of Sang Liang's classmates exchanged glances and pretended to be enthusiastic, pulling Sano down. They are all spoiled second-generation wealthy people from their families. Today, they came here to pick up girls. Originally, they had a crush on a few beautiful women, but it's okay that Sano didn't come. With Sano's arrival, they compared the people they originally liked to ordinary fans. Sang Liang understood their intention and was momentarily stunned. When he wanted to say something, someone patted his shoulder and whispered, let your sister accompany us for a night, and I'll give you 50,000 yuan. 50,000 yuan, Sang Liang widened his eyes and swallowed what he wanted to say in an instant. His monthly living expenses were only 1,000 or 50,000 yuan, which was enough for him to spend for a long time. Unexpectedly, this useless cousin was still quite valuable. Sano was forced to sit down by those people and drank several more glasses. It was her first time coming to a place like a bar, and it was also her first time drinking. If she hadn't come to deliver something to San Liang, she probably wouldn't have stepped into this place in her lifetime. Here are all Sang Liang's classmates. She didn't want to save face. After drinking a few glasses of wine, her consciousness gradually became dizzy. She found an excuse to get up and go to the restroom. 
Sangmil washed her face with cold water and looked at herself in the mirror. She had already ghosted in the mirror, and her face was full of blush. She had to leave and couldn't continue drinking with Sangliang's classmates anymore. The cold water briefly cleared Sangno's confused mind. Although they were all Sangliang's classmates and Sangliang was also here, her intuition told her that something bad might happen if she continued like this. Sano stumbled out of the restroom, slipped and fell head dot on into the arms of a man. It was so hard, Sano bumped into the person's chest, but it was also so fragrant. A cold and steady scent of the pine trees after snow brought her an indescribable sense of security. Fu Sian furrowed his brows and prepared to throw the person out like he had done with the women who had thrown themselves into arms before. He lowered his eyes, and the girl in his arms, whose face was as big as her palm, was flushed with blush. His half-open apricot eyes were filled with water light, staring at him in confusion. His throat suddenly tightened, and he adjusted his position slightly while holding the girl's hand, but he didn't put it down. Are you okay? Fu Sian asked in a low voice. The girl in front of her seemed to be drunk, but it didn't seem like she was simply drunk. Her face blushed unnaturally, and her body was scorching. Sano felt his whole body burning like fire, muttering in a daze, I. I don't know. A tear rolled down the corner of my eye because it was too uncomfortable. Fu Sian's eyes darkened. When Sano opened her eyes again, it was already the next morning. The ceiling in front of her was magnificent and unfamiliar. After a while, her consciousness and memories gradually returned to them. She couldn't help but exclaim in surprise and covered her face with a blanket. She was drugged by her cousin's classmate yesterday and happened to meet Mr. Fu. After being drugged, she was not clear-headed and kept pestering Mr. Fu. In the end, she even forced a kiss on Mr. Fu, and then oh my god, what's wrong with her? Sano remembered the remaining details in her memory and blushed, but fortunately she met Mr. Fu. She couldn't help but shudder at the thought of Song Liang's classmates. Although she was not Song Liang's biological sister, just his cousin, she never expected Sang Liang to do such a thing. She didn't know if his classmates were drugging her if she didn't believe Sang Liang. It was quiet around, and Mr. Fu should have already left. Sanua got up and got dressed, and saw a business card and a note on the table next to him. The name, position, and phone number of Fu Sian are written on the business card, while the note reads. I have some work to attend to and will be back in the afternoon. This is my suite, please rest well and call me if you feel any discomfort. There is kanji on the table in the living room. Remember to eat it. Sanua found the living room of the suite according to the note, and there was a thermos bucket on the table, which contained milk oatmeal kanji. It was slightly sweet, but not greasy. When Sanua drank kanji, tears suddenly rolled down. She and Mr. Fu are just strangers, and she first got entangled with Mr. Fu. In fact, Mr. Fu doesn't care about her at all, but she still remembers that Mr. Fu took her in a gentle bath last night, and helped her take medicine. Today, although there is work to deal with, she still remembers to leave kanji for her. And Sang Liang, who also took care of him as he grew up, threw her away to her classmates with her own hands. Her family, who had been with her for so many years, wanted to harm her. Instead, it was Mr. Fu, a stranger, who took care of her so thoughtfully, which made Sang Noa's heart cold beyond words. After drinking kanji, Sang Noa wiped his tears, and finally took a look at Fu Sian's notes and business cards. The business card said that Fu Sian was a director of Fu's group. Fu's group, even if she had never seen it again, had heard about it. Looking at the whole country, it was also a giant, and the Fu family was even more a powerful family. Such a person will not have any interaction with her. Even if something happens by chance now and Mr. Fu is gentle and considerate towards her, she knows that it is only because Mr. Fu has a good family education that they should not have any connection, and there will be no further contact in the future. Sano glanced at the note and business card for the last time, didn't touch them, and left the hotel like this. 
By the time Fu Sian returned to the hotel, it was already empty, with the faint scent of a young girl still lingering on the blanket. Looking at the business card placed there, Fu Sian's eyebrows furrowed deeper and deeper. He had always been aloof and self-assured. Sanua was the first woman in his life, and he only had to deal with some urgent work. No matter how he came back, he ran away. Even though he was already very restrained yesterday, did he still scare people? Chapter 2 Is not about being wrapped, is it? You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Sano returned to his aunt's house, it was already close to noon. She walked back home. Mr. Fu's hotel is far away and there are no direct subways or buses nearby. She couldn't bear to part ways and didn't have the money to take a taxi, so she had to walk back on her own. Her phone calls were all unanswered, and Sano didn't answer them. She rarely rebelled in these years, and she was afraid that if she answered, she would burst into tears. Although I won't answer now and will be scolded even harder by my aunt when I go back, crying at home won't be as embarrassing as crying on the street. Hey, you've learned a lot, do you still know how to go home? Sure enough, as soon as I opened the door, I saw my aunt standing in the living room, sneering, if I don't go home all night and don't answer the phone, is this going to sell if I can't get into college? Usually, Sano does household chores at home, and is responsible for three meals a day. Sano didn't come back yesterday, and they didn't realize it at first. They only found out that no one was cooking when they had dinner. In the end, she bravely did it because she hadn't cooked for too long, and her cooking was unpleasant. Her husband and son had a big argument with her, and she was holding her breath. If it were normal, Sano would only silently listen to her scolding. However, just after being tricked by San Liang and hearing her say she went out to sell, Sano couldn't help but feel aggrieved by San Liang's actions. Just as he was about to refute, he saw San Liang come out of the room, looking at her with hatred, he said, isn't that right? Yesterday, I asked her to give me a wallet, but I saw her entangled with several old men. No wonder her grades were so poor after repeating her studies for a year. It turns out that all her energy is being used to this kind of place. Sano was so angry that his eyes turned red when he slapped him upside down and said, yesterday was clearly your classmate. Before she could finish speaking, her aunt scolded, I really went out to sell. I didn't expect you, a young girl, to be so shameless at such a young age. If your parents were still alive, you would probably be so angry. Even if your studies were poor, now you don't even know yourself. Esteem. Our family hasn't lacked you for food and clothing for so many years, and you don't know how to learn well every day. Upon hearing her mention of her parents, Seno's grievances were completely shattered. Ten years ago, when Seno's parents were still alive, she was also the darling of their parents. Although their family was not wealthy, they were still considered middle dot class and lived on a large flat floor in the third ring road. She had her own room, decorated like a princess's room. Whatever she wants, her parents will buy it for her. If she makes a mistake, her parents will patiently teach her and never scold or scold her. When she was a child, she was the little princess in the eyes of her classmates, and everyone envied her. At that time, her uncle and aunt were also very kind to her because they asked her parents for help. Sometimes they came to borrow money, and sometimes they asked them to help arrange work. Cousin and cousin are not like they are now, they are all very friendly to her. Ten years ago, her parents went missing unexpectedly and she was adopted by her uncle and aunt. These two people were initially worried that her parents would suddenly come back, and their attitude towards her was decent. However, after a year or two, it was confirmed that her parents would not come back again. The police believed that after these two people had either died, they began to reveal their true faces. Although Sano's parents went missing, they left behind a large inheritance. Sano had never seen any of that inheritance, and it was estimated that it all fell into the hands of his uncle and aunt. Otherwise, they would not have adopted Sano. They are not satisfied with just taking the inheritance, and they also feel that raising Sano is too expensive. 
Over the years, Sano has almost become a nanny at home. From a pampered little princess, she has learned to do household chores, cook, and do household chores carefully. There should be no dust on the floor, and the food should be cooked in a beautiful and fragrant way, otherwise she will receive a scolding. When Sono was young, he was often beaten. One time, he was beaten too clearly, with bruises and bruises all over his body. The homeroom teacher who was discovered called the police, and the police came to educate them. They didn't dare to take action anymore, but the scolding became increasingly unpleasant. My parents didn't die, Sano shouted with tears in his eyes, and I didn't go out to sell either. She spends all her time doing household chores every day, being bossed around by them. Even in her third year of high school, she has almost no time to study. She used to have good grades, but later on, the academic pressure increased, and she also did more and more household chores at home. When others were studying at night, she was washing clothes and sheets in cold water until early morning. Her aunt didn't want her to use the washing machine because it would consume water and electricity. She washed all night and couldn't help but fall asleep during class the next day. She didn't have any pocket money to buy coffee and essential oils to refresh herself, and it was her desk mate and best friend Tang Yunyun who made various excuses to give it to her. For so many years, she has endured so much injustice. She is not foolish. She knows that her uncle and aunt adopted her for money, and she was bullied by her cousin. She also endured it, because no matter what, they adopted her and she accepted this kindness. But her parents are her nemesis, and she doesn't allow anyone to talk about her parents. The first time my aunt saw Sano refute her, she was stunned and wanted to say something more. Sano had already fled back to the room and locked the door tightly. It is said to be a room, but in fact it is a small compartment transformed from a toilet, with only a small bed and no table. Sano sat by the door, hugging her knees and silently crying for a while. Outside came the sound of her aunt smashing the door and cursing, as if she had not heard it. After a while, she finally took out her phone and sent a text message to her best friend Tang Yunyun. Yunyun, is the job you mentioned, which includes food and accommodation, still hiring people. She had originally planned to find a job after the college entrance examination to save for college tuition and living expenses. Because she didn't perform well in the exam last year, she repeated her studies for a year this year and felt guilty to her uncles and aunts. So she wanted to save more money so that she no longer had to rely on them for college. But now, she is eager to escape here, to betray her cousin, and her aunt is only treating her as a nanny's home. Have you finally figured it out? Tang Yunyun excitedly replied to her, I'll take you there right away. Sano wiped away her tears and tidied up for a while. She had very little to hold in her backpack. Her aunt was already tired from scolding outside, sitting on the sofa drinking water. Seeing that she dared to come out and was about to continue scolding, Sano spoke up, I found a job where I can afford to eat and live. I will cover my college tuition and living expenses myself, and I will gradually repay the money you have spent on me over the years. What can you do well, even if you work? Can't you be taken care of? My aunt cursed subconsciously. But on second thought, this girl goes out to work, provides food and accommodation, and can still save some money at home. Since she said she doesn't need to pay for college, she is also happy to save some money. Even if she really goes out to sell, it has nothing to do with her. Anyway, this is not her daughter. If it weren't for the inheritance of Seno's parents, she wouldn't be bothered to take care of it. Chapter 3 The Confused She You are listening at NovelFull.audio after weighing the pros and cons, Sano's aunt agreed to let her go. Tang Yunyun introduced Sano to a job selling jewelry in a prestigious jewelry store in the highest end shopping mall in a city. Tang Yunyun comes from a good family background, and his father is also a small manager of a listed company. He has squeezed into the upper circle with half of his foot. The store manager of this store is a friend of Tang Yunyun's father. So when Tang Yunyun brought Sanoa for an interview, 
he agreed without saying a word. One is to save face for Tang Yunyun's family, and the other is that Seno's image is really good, and he also plays a role as a model. Although it is his first job, the sales are actually good, which makes the store manager even more satisfied. The store manager praised Sano several times, which also caused dissatisfaction among some of the old employees in the store. They openly and secretly excluded Sano, but for Sano, the combined harm they caused was not comparable to that of an ant. The days she left her aunt's house were simply her second lucky day besides childhood. In the Tingshan Villa district of a city, in a villa with the best view, the lights are brightly lit, and a group of young men and women are indulging in the indoor swimming pool on the third floor. Brother Fu has not always been obsessed with cleanliness, why are you willing to let Mingle bring people here to play today? Fu Sian dressed meticulously and looked at the young bodies in the swimming pool that almost only covered the key areas. He looked away with some disgust and said, he promised to help me find someone. The old man of the Ming family has been strict with him recently. Ming Lu can only come to ask Fu Sian to lend him the villa for a party. Coincidentally, Fu Sian also needed his help to find someone, so he agreed. However, it seems that after he comes to play this time today, he doesn't need the villa anymore. Do you still need him to find someone? The person next to him was surprised. What person, can't your Fu family find him yet? It's not that he can't find it, it's that he doesn't want his family to know, Fu Sian lowered his eyes. If his family found out that he had spent a lot of effort looking for a woman, they didn't know what those crazy people in his family who wanted him to get married and have children would do. How do I feel like you've been acting weird lately? Feng Shuhan touched his chin, you don't think the old tree has blossomed, do you? A dim light flashed through Fu Sian's eyes, but he remained silent and shook the champagne in his hand. Damn it, I'm not really right. It's true or false. Who could have been divine enough to subdue you, a millennium-old iron tree? Feng Shuhan couldn't believe it. Fu Sian, the crown prince of the Fu family, had been abstinence for 20.8 years. They had always thought that he wanted to be pure and abstinent until death but they never expected that there would be a day when he broke the precepts. In the swimming pool over there, Mingle held on to a beautiful woman who was constantly coquettish towards him and said, you said you like your friend's diamond necklace. It's just a diamond necklace, as many as you want. The other women he called couldn't help but look at him when they heard this, and Mingle waved his hand indifferently, there's everything, there's everything. He remembered that the Fu family had recently opened a new shopping mall, where many jewelry brands had settled in. He took his phone and casually found a store, called the manager, and asked them to bring all the high dot and jewelry from the store. In the mall, it's time to get off work, and everyone else is changing their work clothes. Today, it's heavy rainstorm outside, and they all talk about taking a hot bath when they go back. Before they could leave, the store manager suddenly answered the phone and asked them to deliver all the high dot end jewelry in the store to the Tingshan Villa area. The person across from them was the young master of the Ming family, and also a friend of Mr. Fu. They couldn't afford to offend the big customers, let alone after work. Even if it was midnight and the other side asked them to deliver it, they had to deliver it. When the manager said something, everyone turned pale. No one wanted to work overtime. What's more, on this rainstorm day, Sister Lee, who was older in the store, looked at Sanoa calmly and said, I think it's better to give Sanoa such a big list. She has always performed well. She has been praised so many times by the store manager. I think she is the most suitable one. Indeed, I think it should also be Sano going. Newcomers should experience more. With Li Jie taking the lead, everyone else supported Sang Nua with various voices. The store manager knew they were bullying Sano and gave her a somewhat embarrassed look. Sano pursed his lips and didn't want the store manager to be embarrassed. He took the initiative to say, then I'll go. Tingshan Villa area is far away. It was an hour ago when the car drove past. The property here did not allow their car to enter. 
they had to carry the jewels in a cart against the rainstorm. Although they had an umbrella, Sanoa was still wet by the rain. They arrived at the villa like drowned chickens, and the nannies here were all startled. It's not like the property outside is difficult to handle again, is it really? Come in and wipe it off. Sano shuddered, still thinking about the big customer. She was afraid of delaying the other party's anger, so she said to the driver, Big brother, you stay here and wipe it. I can go up on my own. Turning to thank Auntie again, he said, Thank you, but I still have some work to do. I'll trouble Auntie again when I come back later. What a sin. The nanny looked at Sano's departure and shook her head. The child was clearly a little girl, so sensible that it was heartbreaking. Fortunately, there is an elevator in the villa, and it is not difficult for Sano to transport the jewelry to the third floor alone. When everyone heard the sound of the elevator opening, they all looked over. The beautiful women were all focused on jewelry, their eyes lit up, but everyone else was startled by Sano's silly appearance. It startled me, I thought it was a water ghost, Mingle murmured, his voice echoing in this space, and everyone laughed when they heard it. Sano, who was being teased by them, felt a bit embarrassed and awkwardly lowered his head, carefully pushing the jewelry over. She actually brought a raincoat, but was afraid that the rain would wet these expensive jewelry. She and the driver used the raincoat to wrap the jewelry. When she arrived, although there was a cart, they were afraid of jewelry damage, so they walked slowly, which was why she was so embarrassed. Now, almost every step she takes, water droplets fall off her body. The female companions who were with Mingle sneered at her appearance and said, Ming Xiao, which brand of jewelry did you order? You shouldn't be fooling us. You just found a miscellaneous brand. I thought it was a beggar from somewhere who came in earlier. Perhaps she deliberately looked like this. Look, she has a pretty good figure. Who wouldn't know that we, Ming Xiao, are the ones who cherish fragrance and jade the most. The rain soaked the girl's clothes, causing her already thin clothes to tightly adhere to her body, revealing a green but delicate curve. As the girl approached, Fu Xian remained silent since she entered, staring at her intently. Suddenly, he stood up and said coldly, Shut up. Chapter 4 People have long been under their own noses. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The others were frightened by his low pressure and instantly shut up, and Mingle, who wanted to say something, choked on water. Sano, who had been walking with his head buried, had not yet delivered the jewelry when he suddenly heard Fu Sian's voice, feeling somewhat familiar. When he looked up, he happened to see Fu Sian strode towards him. He took off his expensive custom made suit, wrapped it around Sano without hesitation, and suddenly picked her up horizontally, causing a gasping and inhaling sound behind him. Sano didn't expect to encounter Fu Sian again in his own embarrassing situation. Fu, Mr. Fu. Sano murmured softly, her brain blank and her body stiff into a ball. Fu Sian carried her to the master bedroom on the second floor and placed her in front of the bathroom. Go take a shower. Sano nodded, instinctively about to follow suit, and suddenly regained his sanity. Those jewels. Fu Sian's eyes were heavy and he said, I bought all of them. What else do you want me to say, said Fu Sian with a slight squint in his eyes. Sano immediately entered the bathroom and instinctively locked the door. Realizing what she had done, Sano couldn't help but shake her head. Mr. Fu was a good person, and she didn't need to lock the door. Mr. Fu's bathroom is very large and has a bathtub, which looks very upscale. Sano didn't touch those and simply took a shower. She was too uncomfortable from the rain just now, but now that she has taken a hot shower, she feels like she has come back to life. After washing, she blew her hair in the mirror and suddenly realized something very important. She forgot to bring her bathrobe when she came in. There are stacked bathrobes in the bathroom, but only men's styles. Her own clothes have already soaked through, and if she puts them on again, the shower will be in vain. After hesitating for a moment, Sano gave himself some psychological support and gently knocked on the door. 
Outside the door, Fu Sian's deep voice came. What's wrong? Mr. Fu was actually outside all along, and Sanua's face gradually turned red. Mr. Fu, do you have a women's bathrobe here? Of course there is a bathrobe here, but Fu Sian remembers having one in his bathroom. He wore it once before, and when he thought about it, Fu Sian understood why Sano asked so. It seems like there's none left, I remember there's one in the bathroom that you can wear. Fu Sian adjusted his sitting posture without leaving a trace, his tone light, but his voice a bit hoarse. Fu Sian had said so, and Sanua could only turn around and pick up the bathrobe in the bathroom. This bathrobe was designed according to Mr. Fu's figure, and she wore it wide and wide, like a child stealing adult clothes. When she came out, Fu Sian was dealing with work matters. After briefly and directly pointing out the mistakes of his subordinates, he looked up and saw the girl who had just taken a bath. The girl's skin was very white, almost transparent against the backdrop of his black bathrobe. Her long black hair was scattered behind her, and her clear eyes were a bit shy. The wide bathrobe was knee-high, revealing only a small portion of her fair, tender, and symmetrical legs. Fu Sian felt his throat becoming increasingly dry. He was about to say something when he suddenly heard the door lightly knocked. Come in, Fu Sian said coldly. Mingle smiled and pushed open the door, looking at Fu Sian with a low air pressure on his face, and then at Sanua beside him. It was only then that he realized later that he might have disturbed some people's good deeds. Sano was wearing a bathrobe, but he didn't dare to look too much. He quickly withdrew his gaze and said, Brother Fu, I'm sorry. I didn't expect that my sister Dot in Dot Law would personally deliver the jewelry. It's really offensive. Just now, when Fu Sian left with Sanua, he knew that something was not going well. He had been in a relationship with Fu Sian for many years, and Fu Sian had always been cold hearted. Not to mention being passionate about women for so many years, he couldn't even see any opposite sex around him. Fu Sian didn't have many friends either, and he had been with him for so long before being included in his own circle. However, once included in this circle, Fu Sian is a very protective person. Previously, there was a bastard in his family who caused trouble and wanted to compete with him for equity. Fu Sian used thunderous methods to clean up the situation, making life worse than death. He fled the country with his last bit of property. Now for the first time, Fu Sian had a close woman by his side, but as soon as he came in, he was offended by his broken mouth. Mingle wished he could go back in time. When Sangno first came in, he would definitely go over and kowtow to this grandmother. After apologizing, Minglo glanced at Fu Sian's expression and saw that he was noncommittal. He knew that his apology was not in the right place, so he immediately turned to Sano's direction and cast his gaze on a small piece of floor in front of Sano's body. I'm sorry, Sister Dotin Dot Law. I will handle those people who offended you just now. If you hit or scold me, Sister Dotin Dot Law, I will admit it. Sano, who had never seen this posture before, quickly shook his head and said, No need, I'm not a sister dot in dot law either. Although those people shouldn't make fun of her, the punishment shouldn't be so severe. Seeing that the young girl was really not angry, Fu Sian's expression became more attractive and he said, She forgave you, let's forget about this matter. I can't just forget about it, Mingle's mind lit up at this moment. Didn't my sister dot in dot law still bring those jewels? After finally making a trip, I bought them all. Sano opened his eyes wide. Mr. Fu had just mentioned full package, and now his friend is also saying full package. You should know that they are also high dot end jewelry stores, and the jewelry they delivered today would add up to at least a million. She knew these wealthy families were wealthy, but she didn't expect them to be so wealthy. No need, really, you should buy as much as you want. Even if you have money, you can't spend it like that. She was just a bit embarrassed just now, but her face is not worth a million. Sano knew that what was valuable was not her face, but Mr. Fu's face. If she really is Mr. Fu's girlfriend, accept it, 
but she and Mr. Fu are not in this relationship. They misunderstood and she doesn't want to pretend to be a tiger. Fu Sian noticed Sanoa's discomfort and spoke calmly, just watch and buy. The implication is not to include everything, as it will put pressure on her, but this quantity cannot be too small. Generally, jewelry salespeople will receive commissions. In such weather, Sano came here alone to deliver jewelry. Without saying much, one can guess how difficult the girl's situation is. Mingle understood and selected several pieces of jewelry for each female companion, except for the one that just made fun of Sano. Jewelry was categorized and placed in the living room on the second floor. Sano looked at Mingle's chosen jewelry and secretly calculated how much commission he could get. Fu Si beside him casually asked, Which store are you at now? At the direct operated store of Sky Mall. Sano no doubt had him, and all his thoughts were on Mingle. Mingle had just chosen 600,000 pieces of jewelry, and her commission was 1%, which calculated to be 6,000 yuan, equivalent to her two month salary. Sky, he has been searching for people all over the world for the past month, but he didn't expect people to run under his nose long ago. Chapter 5 How is it a happy pulse? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Fu Sian remained silent and after a moment, he picked out a bracelet and said, I'll take this one. That bracelet was not as exaggerated and luxurious as other jewelry, it was very delicate. The main body was a four-leaf clover carved from several emeralds, with some broken diamonds in the middle. Fu Sian thought it was very suitable for a girl when he saw it. The girl has thin and fair wrists, which must look very beautiful when worn. It has to be said that Mr. Fu's aesthetics are indeed impressive. Sano was very impressed with this bracelet. Although it doesn't look as dazzling as jewelry filled with large carat diamonds, the price is not low at all, and the style is very unique. She and other employees in the store think this is the best-looking bracelet in the new batch. I don't know which lucky woman Mr. Fu will wear the bracelet he bought in the end. Sano's thinking diverged, and based on Mr. Fu's qualifications, there should be many women around him. Except for Mingle, everyone else who came here had to pick one or two items. When the final settlement was made, it was a whopping 700,000 yuan. When calculating the commission, it could be considered a windfall for Sano. Sano successfully completed the task and her clothes had already been dried. She was originally planning to return to the store like this, but how could everyone let her go like this? It was still raining heavily outside, and although Fu Sian didn't say anything, it seemed that she didn't want to let anyone go. You can stay here for the night, sister. In law. We will send someone to deliver the driver downstairs, and we will also have someone deliver the remaining jewelry to you. Don't worry, I'll say hello to your manager and you can rest assured. Yeah, it's raining so hard outside, let's stay. Although the other brothers who were called by Mingle were not sure about Sano's identity, they all saw Fu Sian holding someone with their own eyes and followed suit, shouting one sister dot in dot law after another. Sano was already thin-skinned, and hearing them say this, he had no idea. He couldn't help but instinctively seek help and look at Fu Sian. Fu Sian took her hand directly and before she could react, he said to her, let's go. Sano was led by him to the master bedroom and only realized it was inappropriate when he heard the door lock with a click. Behind her was a wall, and there was no retreat. Mr. Fu stood in front of her, and the distance between the two was so small that it could be ignored. Fu Sian was already tall, as if he wanted to hold Sang Luo in his arms. He lowered his head and put on the bracelet he had just bought for her. Her sparkling white wrist was further whitened by the emerald, which was indeed very suitable for her. Realizing that Fu Sian might have misunderstood something, Sanua quickly took off the bracelet and said, I can't accept this, Mr. Fu. Fu Sian, who was close to 1.9 meters tall, looked down at her and said, Don't you like it? I think it suits you very well. It's not a matter of liking or not liking. In a panic, Sano couldn't help but take a deep breath to calm her restless heart. This is too expensive, I can't accept it. 
Perhaps her brief encounter with Mr. Fu before made Fu Sian misunderstand a bit, treating her as a lover or even a little plaything that can't even be considered a lover. See her again today. If you're interested, just give her some gifts and want to continue the relationship. But she is not the kind of person Mr. Fu thinks. Fu Sian was also spending his first time with a girl and couldn't guess what she was thinking. He frowned slightly and said, are you still angry with me? Did I hurt you before? At that time, his old house caught fire and he didn't know how to control it, which may have scared the little girl. Upon hearing his words, Seno's face heated up and he hurriedly said, No, it's not. Why is that? Fu Sian thought carefully again, I did have urgent work to deal with that day, not that I didn't want to be responsible to you. No, you don't need to take responsibility. Sano strengthened his courage. Someone wanted to harm me that day. It was you who saved me, and I should thank you. And it was she who took the initiative to provoke her that day, how could Mr. Fu be held responsible for her? Moreover, with Mr. Fu's appearance, it's hard to say whether he took advantage of her or she took advantage of him. Fu Sian understood now that Sanua was planning to distance himself from him. He felt a slight chill in his heart and couldn't help but mock himself. These days were really too presumptuous. Yes, she doesn't seem to have just reached adulthood. He's already thirty years old this year, and with a round of adulthood, maybe the other person still thinks he's an old cow eating tender grass. He slowly withdrew his hand, which was about to touch the girl's head, and glanced at the bracelet between her wrists. This bracelet suits you very well, keep it, just treat it as my apology. Sano opened his mouth and wanted to say something, but he also keenly sensed that Fu Sian was in a very bad mood at this moment. She didn't know why, perhaps she was influenced by Mr. Fu's emotions, and her heart was full of mixed flavors, sour and rising, making her unable to say anything for a moment. As Fu Sian was about to leave, she suddenly felt a sour sensation in her stomach and couldn't help but retch a few times. Upon hearing the sound, Fu Sian stopped his steps and turned around to see Sano covering his stomach, his face full of discomfort. I think I just caught a cold in the rain and caught a gastrointestinal cold. Although he had just been rejected, Fu Sian couldn't do it and let go of seeing people feel uncomfortable. With a helpless sigh, he walked over and carried the princess to the big bed in the bedroom. He then went out to ask the nanny to prepare hot water and finally glanced at Feng Shuhan, who was still guarding the living room on the second floor and wanted to watch the excitement. Come here, he said Feng Shuhan leaned over and gossiped, what's wrong, brother Fu? I have everything I need. She's not feeling well. Ah, uh, this. Feng Shuhan's eyes widened. Is this what he can hear? As Feng Shuhan misunderstood in an indescribable direction, Fu Sian threw his eye knife over and said, she seems to have a gastrointestinal cold. Oh, Feng Shuhan finally understood. He was a doctor, and Fu Sian definitely wanted to find him. However, he didn't bring anything today, so he could only show it to others based on his own experience. Sano was half lying on the big bed in the master bedroom, leaning against a large pillow behind him. His stomach still felt nauseous and extremely uncomfortable. She has actually been in good health all along. She has also been caught in the rain before, mostly with a small cold. She just drank some ginger water and took a nap, which was the first time she felt so uncomfortable. Actually, I can't tell anything, Feng Shuhan muttered, you'd better take her to my place tomorrow to see. Mingle joined the fun and followed over didn't you learn traditional Chinese medicine? Just give your sister dot in dot law a pulse and you'll know. Feng Shuhan rolled his eyes directly at him and said, I just attended a training class and have been studying Western medicine. It's okay, it's not Shimai. How could I be so good at it? Although he said so, when he arrived in front of Sano, he politely asked about Sano's situation and gave her a pulse. He put his hand on it for a few seconds, and his expression froze. He closed his eyes, shook his head, and then put his hand back on it. Sano was a bit scared by his posture, 
and Fu Sian and Mingle also became solemn in their hearts. What was the situation that made Feng Shuhan feel his pulse and not say a word? Feng Shuhan felt that his broken mouth might have been too much, but he didn't dare to speak so easily about such a big matter. Seno's pulse, how could he make it a happy pulse? Chapter 6 Sano Runs Again You are listening at Novel Full Audio. It's not a big deal, but it's quite special. I need to confirm it again, Feng Shuhan first calmed Sanoa's emotions before gesturing for Fu Sian to go outside with him. What's going on? Fu Sian lit a cigarette and took a puff. Could it be true that Sano had some terminal illness? Feng Shuhan's face was strange and he said, Brother Fu, let's talk about this matter. It's not that I'm just trying to get involved, but I think we still need to confirm it carefully. Speak up. Fu Sian acted decisively and decisively, and disliked others beating around the bush with him the most. I think I might have hit the nail on the head, sister. In. Law. It seems like it's a happy pulse. Fu Sian's fingers holding the cigarette trembled suddenly, and the cigarette ash landed on his fingertips. Although it should have been very hot, he seemed to feel nothing. Shimai, does it mean that Sano has his child? Although it was an incomprehensible sentence, Fu Sian reacted for a few minutes. Countless thoughts flashed through his mind, and he took a deep breath before speaking, ask someone to buy a pregnancy test. The next second, realizing that pregnant women should not be able to smell the smoke, he pinched the just-lit cigarette and said, the faster, the better. It's not surprising that Feng Shuhan is hesitant to make judgments. He has been pure-hearted for thirty years and has never considered having a woman around him, let alone children. But now thinking that Sano would give birth to his child, he surprisingly has no displeasure about his life plans being disrupted. Even to his surprise, there was an expectation that he himself was not aware of. The pregnancy test stick was delivered quickly, and Feng Shuhan and Ming Lu were not suitable to go in. Fu Sian held the pregnancy test stick himself, thinking how to say that Sanua would accept it better. According to what she just said from Sano, she is only 19 years old this year, but has just reached adulthood. Now she has a new life in her womb, a new life belonging to both of them. Although Fu Sian had tried to speak as tactfully as possible, Sano still found it difficult to accept. She. Pregnant. She never thought about this matter. Just after the college entrance examination, getting married and having children are very distant things for her. But now Fu Sian patiently explained the instructions to her and helped her into the restroom. However, Sanua still felt like he was dreaming and walking was like stepping on cotton. After arguing with her aunt that day and busy finding a job to move out, she did forget to take the contraceptive pill in a fit of anger. However, being with Mr. Fu was only one night's work, how could it be so coincidental? It wouldn't be so coincidental. Sano thought in a panic, but his movements did not stop. Following the method, he tested step by step, and the last two obvious lines appeared on the pregnancy test stick. What do the two words mean? Sano bit her lower lip tightly and begged, if she wasn't pregnant, her heart would almost reach her throat. She shook her hands and flipped through the instructions for the pregnancy test. However, the content marked on the instruction manual mercilessly shattered her imagination. Two bars, making it clear that she was pregnant. Fu Sian waited outside, his thin lips pursed tightly. He instinctively took out a cigarette and put it back. In all these years, he had experienced all kinds of storms, and it was the first time he felt this kind of palpitations. There was no movement inside for a while, and Fu Sian finally couldn't hold his breath and knocked lightly on the door. After a while, Sano walked out with a pregnancy test stick. If it weren't for Mr. Fu knocking on the door, she might have stayed for a long time. Just now she even thought about hiding the pregnancy test rod from Mr. Fu. Fu Sian carefully observed her expression and had already guessed something. After seeing the two obvious bars on the pregnancy test stick, he breathed a sigh of relief. Don't worry, I will take responsibility for you. 
Fu Sian has completely accepted this matter, and he has not forgotten to take care of Sanua's emotions. Tomorrow, I will take you to Feng Shuhan's hospital for a comprehensive examination. Today, you should rest well and leave everything to me. Remembering that Sano was pregnant and still in the rain, Fu Sian quickly instructed the nanny to bring some soup to ward off the cold. Sano's mind was in a daze, he agreed hastily, but couldn't help but think wildly. This child came too suddenly. She slowly touched her lower abdomen and couldn't believe that a little life had been born here at some point. But as a poor student who still needs to go to college, can she take care of this little life? But if she were to take it down, she would feel reluctant just thinking about it. Mr. Fu said he would be responsible, but she doesn't know what this responsibility refers to. Is it asking her to get rid of the child and give her some money, or what? In fact, Based on the various news she has read before, Mr. Fu is definitely not lacking in women around him. Perhaps some people have also been pregnant with Mr. Fu's children, but a wealthy family like the Fu family will definitely not let anyone give birth to Mr. Fu's children and will definitely force them to get rid of them. Sano thought about the various grievances and grievances he had seen from wealthy families before, and the more he thought about it, the more he felt that his guess was reasonable. At this moment, the feeling of nausea had improved a lot. She quietly got out of bed and walked to the door, wanting to ask clearly. Just as she pushed the door open a gap, she heard Mr. Fu and his friend's voices coming from afar. Brother Fu, how do you plan to deal with this child? Feng Shuhan rubbed his chin and asked, this is a big treasure. The Fu family has been passed down for several generations, and in Fu Sian's generation, Fu Sian is not close to women. He finally gained some blood, but he is very wealthy. However, with Fu Sian's personality, he doesn't seem like someone who likes children, let alone raising children. Feng Shuhan couldn't even imagine it. If you want to knock it off behind your back at home. Fight. Fu Sian's eyes flashed with a cold light, looking dangerously at Feng Shuhan. When the threatening tone of the typing reached Sano's ear, it was already very blurry. She couldn't accurately hear what the two of them were saying, but she knew half by half that the doctor had just asked Mr. Fu if he wanted to have the child aborted, and Mr. Fu said so. Although she couldn't afford to have a child at all, and having one was perhaps the best option for her, in that moment, an indescribable maternal instinct surged into Sano's heart. I'm sorry, Mr. Fu. Sano closed her eyes. She still really wants this child. She won't pester Mr. Fu, let alone use this child to plot any wealth from the Fu family. Since Mr. Fu doesn't want it, this child is her own child. Because he gave up the master bedroom to Sano, Fu Sian casually found a guest room to sleep in. In fact, he didn't sleep well that night and had a few rare dreams related to Sano. Sometimes he dreamed about the day he first saw her, and then he dreamed about her giving birth to his own child. They raised the child together, and sometimes he dreamed of Sano smiling sweetly at him, and then he dreamed that Sano was bullied and his eyes turned red. This night was a tumultuous night, finally enduring the dawn. Fu Sian had completely woken up, but worried that Sanoa might not rest well, he insisted on calling Feng Shuhan and Mingle, and waited until nine o'clock before going to call Sanoa. He lightly tapped on the door a few times, but there was no sound inside. He increased his intensity, but there was still silence inside. Fu Sian thought of something and suddenly pushed the door open. It was indeed empty inside, just like Fu Sian had returned to the hotel suite before. Sano ran away again. Chapter 7 Don't want to beat up. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Sano took advantage of the late night when everyone fell asleep and secretly ran away. She planned to go back to the store, tidy up her things, pay today's commission, and then take advantage of the summer vacation to go to other cities to work. She has already planned that it is too easy for Mr. Fu to find her in City A. She needs to move to another city and wait for the summer vacation to pass before returning to school. Maybe Mr. Fu will have forgotten about her by then. When she returned to the employee dormitory, 
it was already late at night and everyone else was already asleep. In order to save expenses, the boss gave them a dormitory similar to a university dormitory, which was a four-person bed and table, as if it had been renovated from the original student dormitory. Such conditions are already considered good in providing accommodation for work. After all, every inch of land in a city is worth a lot of money. Sano also heard that in some places, eight or even a dozen people live together in a big bunk shop. Here, she still has an independent space next to the bed curtain. Sano returned to the dormitory lightly, although the sound was as low as possible, the sound of opening the door still disturbed others, causing dissatisfaction and complaints. Sano pretended not to hear and lay in bed, almost sleepless all night. The next day at dawn, she went to the store to look for the manager. You don't want to do it anymore. The store manager was startled when she heard her words. The commission can be given to you, but you did a good job, why didn't you do it? Although the little girl Sano hasn't been here for a long time, she works very efficiently, is willing to work hard, never complains, and her recent performance has been good, especially yesterday when she opened a full order of 700,000 yuan. Once she wins this big order, she won't have to worry about sales this month. He had originally thought that when Sano went to school in a while, he could also leave him as a part-time worker and come to the store as usual when there were no classes. Unexpectedly, Sano suddenly proposed to resign. Is it because of yesterday's incident? The store manager thought that it was someone else who bullied Sanoa yesterday and asked her to send jewelry in the rainstorm, which made Sanoa wrong. New people all come here like this. You have high sales, they must be jealous of you, and they will exclude you, which is inevitable. It will be better after a while. As long as Sano continues to stay, she may soon become the top seller, and then these people who exclude her will come to flatter her. This is also human nature, and it is inevitable. Sanoa shook his head. No, it's my health. I have to go back to my hometown to see a doctor, so I can't continue. She knew the store manager's kindness and was very grateful to him. Although her colleagues in the store occasionally had some friction with her, these were actually nothing to her. During her working days, she earned money through her own labor and felt an unprecedented happiness and ease. If it weren't for avoiding Mr. Fu, she would really not be willing to leave. Although it's a pity, the store manager also respects her choice. She said that she would go back to her hometown to see a doctor, and the salary was a little more, but the commission would be a little more troublesome, and she would also add up other bills issued by Sanoa this month. The store manager was calculating the commission when his phone suddenly rang. After answering, his expression changed and he stopped his movements. He turned to the others and said, Hurry up, hurry up. I just received a notice that Mr. Fu will come over to inspect. Previously, there were occasional visits from the middle and senior management of the shopping mall, but it was a routine matter and they only prepared according to the requirements. However, this time, the person who came was Mr. Fu, the crown prince of the Fu group, who held the power of life and death. If he was not satisfied and did not allow their store to continue to settle in Sky, he would have no place to cry. I don't know exactly what the crown prince is up to, but Hao Duan suddenly came to inspect without prior notice. When Sano heard the words, Mr. Fu, he unconsciously tightened his body. The store manager said, Mr. Fu, so it shouldn't be Mr. Fu, right? She felt that she might be a bit sensitive to the word Fu, but as soon as she ran, Mr. Fu came to the mall for inspection, which was a bit too clever no matter what she thought. Store manager, I bought a ticket yesterday and I'm about to leave when I get off. I have to leave first, Sano hurriedly said to the store manager. Could you please pay me the commission later? Ah. The store manager was about to call her when he saw Sano carrying his luggage and hurriedly walking out, as if trying to escape. Are you in such a hurry, the children now? However, he soon didn't neglect these matters, and for now, it is most important to deal with Mr. Fu, the cold-faced king of hell. Sano planned the next route in her mind, and it was definitely not safe to walk through the main gate. If she couldn't say it, 
she would collide head-dot-on with Mr. Fu. She knew a few routes to the small gate, but in short, the more off course the better. If you're not afraid of ten thousand, just be afraid of the unexpected. She thought, bowing her head, as she was about to push open the store door when someone suddenly opened it. A pair of high-dot-end leather shoes appeared in front of her, with two slender legs wrapped in handmade trousers. Looking up, with wide shoulders and narrow waist, Sano gradually lifted his head and saw the familiar face. Why didn't he run away? Fu Sian's voice was very low, and he lowered his eyes to look at her. His eyes were as black as an abyss, making it difficult to distinguish emotions. A group of people crowded behind him, scared by his low pressure and afraid to speak. Sano's palms were covered in cold sweat, unable to utter a word. How could there be someone as unlucky as her in this world who was blocked by Mr. Fu before running out of the store? The store manager didn't know what had happened and thought it was Sano blocking Mr. Fu's way, which made Mr. Fu unhappy. He was about to go up and help Sano apologize when Mr. Fu's assistant gave him a look and stood aside in confusion. The whole store was silent, and everyone's gaze was fixed on Sano and Fu Sian, as they dared not stare at Fu Sian for too long. In the end, they all turned to Sano. Yes, I'm sorry. After a while, Sano held back a dry apology. Fu Sian still had no expression on his face, only his assistant, who was familiar with him, knew that Mr. Fu was really angry. He was called over early in the morning by Mr. Fu to look for someone, and it was the girl in front of him. Mr. Fu was afraid that something might happen to her, so he even cancelled the morning meeting. However, upon checking the surveillance footage, he found out that she was running away in the middle of the night while everyone was asleep. After confirming that the girl had run away on her own, Mr. Fu's face turned completely black. He didn't even take a sip of water early in the morning and came here directly to arrest someone. Seeing that everyone around couldn't help but look over, and the atmosphere was not suitable for two people to talk about, the assistant quietly asked the store manager if there was a hidden compartment and took the two over. When they reached the compartment, Sano still hung his head. Fu Sian looked at the timid little girl in front of him and said for a while, Why are you running? Sano buried his head lower, tears welling up in his eyes for some reason. He choked up and said, I'm sorry, Mr. Fu, I don't want to fight. Chapter 8 Responsibility to Her You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Don't want to fight. Fu Sian was taken aback for a moment, but quickly realized that she was almost laughing at her and said, Do you think I want you to beat up the child? Isn't it? Sano looked up at him and said, I heard you tell that doctor yesterday. Fu Sian looked at her tearful eyes, and the last bit of anger in his heart dissipated completely. He raised his hand and helped Sano wipe away the tears from the corners of his eyes, leaving only helplessness in his heart. He's talking nonsense, I didn't mean to make you hit this child. Although this child was beyond his expectations, he did not reject it and would not let Sano get rid of it. Perhaps it was yesterday that Feng Shuhan's words were heard by Song Noa, but not fully understood, which caused her to misunderstand. She ran away overnight, and Fu Sian couldn't help but write a note for Feng Shuhan. Really? Sano stopped her tears. Can she really keep her child? I said I will take responsibility for you, Fu Sian saw the luggage carried by Sano and remembered the information sent by Mingle on his way here. The little girl is only 19 years old this year. Her parents are missing and she has been adopted by relatives. She is now working as a temporary worker in this shop. In the morning, she bought a train ticket to S City, probably preparing to escape from afar. If it weren't for him blocking the people, Sano might have run away now. Resigning from work and staying with me, I will find someone to take care of you. Since it was a misunderstanding, Fu Sian took the opportunity to talk about the next arrangements. Just let me know what you need. What Fu Sian said about the need is that he assumes that Sano can make money from him and buy various luxury jewelry, and he will not refuse. However, looking at the little girl in front of me dumbfounded, 
I guess she wouldn't even make any money at all. After all, when I first met her, she left without anything. When I ran away yesterday, I even took off the four-leaf clover bracelet he gave me and put it on the bedside table. I don't think he took it on his own, maybe he wouldn't even take it if he sent it over. His words, Sano is also considering that she cannot go back to her aunt's house. If it weren't for the sake of running away, there is no need for her to quit her current job. It is not very tiring for her, and she also needs to save money to go to college. Sano politely told Fu Sian that she didn't want to resign, but she saw that Fu Sian's face was not very attractive. Let Sano continue to work here. Fu Sian still hasn't forgotten how Sanoa brought in the goods soaked all over yesterday, and was even ridiculed by Mingle's group. If it weren't for him being there yesterday, I don't know what Sanoa would have done to him. Not to mention the salary, this amount of money is too lazy for them to even throw it on the ground. When he came to catch someone, he didn't even know that he had lost Sano's salary for several lifetimes. Go to my place, you and your child can receive more care. You don't have to worry about all the expenses. If only considering herself, Sano may not agree yet, but when Fu Sian mentioned the child, she hesitated. Yes, there are four people in her dormitory, and her pregnancy will be discovered soon. She still doesn't want others to know that she got pregnant before marriage. And she lives in the upper bunk, so there is always danger when going up and down the stairs. If she accidentally falls and her baby is gone, she will regret it too late. Fu Sian saw that she had no objection and helped her pack her luggage. He was originally planning to take someone home when he heard a growl coming from Sano's stomach. Sano was busy running away all morning and didn't have time to eat. Fu Sian didn't eat either. Seeing this, he immediately changed his mind and led someone towards a western restaurant in the mall. The assistant didn't follow up with interest, but instead went to chat with the store manager who was already stunned when he saw Fu Sian holding Sano, asking how Sano usually works here. Upon learning that Sano usually sleeps with four people and occasionally does some miscellaneous work, the assistant also fell silent. This is the first time that Mr. Fu has such a precious woman. If Mr. Fu knew that this person usually lives like this here, would he let this store go bankrupt the next day? Fu Sian brought Sang Noah to a western restaurant he often goes to. As soon as he entered, the manager warmly welcomed him and led him all the way to the private room. Sano heard from the people in this store that a lady in the store was invited here for a meal before. After finishing it, she boasted for a full month and kept saying, you don't know how high.end western restaurants are like. Everyone else was envious, but Sano didn't feel much because the price and grade of this store were too far away from her, so far away that she couldn't even arouse envy. The manager had long deliberately remembered Fu Sian's preferences and didn't need him to order food. He kindly asked, is Mr. Fu still the same as before? Seeing Fu Sian nod, he turned to Sano again. If he could become a manager here, he would certainly be a human spirit. It was evident that Sano was not a familiar face, and by scanning her attire, he could tell her general situation. But after all, it was the person brought by Mr. Fu, or the woman, and he enthusiastically said, is this lady here for the first time? Here are some signature dishes of our chef, take a look. I can also recommend a few for you. He opened the menu and found that there were all foreign languages that Sano didn't know. Although there were Chinese characters written below, the ingredients looked particularly unfamiliar. Every word Sano knew, and when combined, they were completely incomprehensible. Fu Sian noticed Sano's embarrassment and asked her about her usual taste. He took the initiative to help her order a few dishes, but was afraid that she would be constrained, so he called the manager down. Sano is indeed restrained. She has never been to such a place before. This private room is very large, with decorations hanging on the walls that she doesn't understand and thinks are expensive. The exquisite tableware on the table also looks shiny. After the dishes were served, Sano looked at the unfamiliar dishes and didn't know how to start. Mr. Fu gradually taught her how to use utensils. 
it's not surprising that the older sister flaunted it for so long before. Sana was eating delicious dishes, which she had never tasted before. Of course, the price was also impressive enough. If Mr. Fu had brought her here, she might not have had the opportunity to set foot here in her lifetime. She ate novel food, but didn't know that Fu Sian, sitting across from her, rarely had a more appetite than usual and ate a lot more. After dinner, Fu Sian took Sano back to his usual apartment. It was a flat apartment, over 300 square meters, which was not comparable to the villas under Fu Sian's name. The advantage was that it was close to the company and convenient to live in. This house is a bit small for Fu Sian, but already very large for Sano, not to mention Fu Sian asking someone to tidy up a room for her and decorate it according to the most popular princess room decoration nowadays. After so many years, Sano finally had his own room once again. Chapter 9 Fu Sian Can Surprisingly Laugh You are listening at NovelFull.audio Although Mr. Fu said that this room belonged exclusively to her and that everything in the room was prepared for her, Sano was still a bit cautious. There is a small bookshelf in her room, which is still empty. Fu Sian happened to change into his home clothes and looked at the empty bookshelf, lost in thought. I don't know what type of books you usually like to read. I'll accompany you to buy them in a few days, she said I also need to buy some prenatal education and parenting books as well. Fu Sian, who has obtained a dual master's degree from Ting School, is even more inexperienced in this area than Xiao Bai. Next to the bookshelf is a small sofa, I don't know what brand it is, it looks very soft. Then there is a bed that is two meters wide, with pink and white bedding. In addition to pillows and bedding, there are also two small pillows, a cute pink fox doll. That doll, Sano, had seen it in the photo taken by Tang Yunyun and it was a limited edition. Tang Yunyun said she had snatched it for a long time. This doll is indeed cute, so cute that Sano couldn't help but have a hint of desire to buy it, but when she learned about the price of the doll, she was instantly discouraged. Do you like it? Fu Sian lowered his head and asked the girl. He had no idea what girls like now, let alone that Sano was eleven years behind him. In the morning, he was busy grabbing people while asking his subordinates to decorate the room. Time was too rushed, and she didn't know if she liked it or not. Sano nodded heavily. She had envied her cousin and younger brother for having their own room before, and even more envied Tang Union's princess-like room. However, in front of the room prepared for her by Mr. Fu, those were all compared. She never imagined that one day she would be able to live in such a room, as if she never thought she would step into a western restaurant. If it weren't for Mr. Fu, perhaps she would never have been able to do so in her lifetime. And Mr. Fu was so kind to her only because she was pregnant with his child. She was like stepping into a beautiful dream, but she also knew that as long as it was a dream, she would wake up sooner or later. Fu Sian didn't notice her little emotions and helped her find a set of beige pajamas from the closet. Take a good night's sleep, I'll pick you up for an examination this afternoon, he said he needs to go to Feng Shuhan's place for a check dot up so that he can rest assured. The little girl was busy running away early in the morning, and now she looked tired. Her snow dot white face was full of fatigue. When she fell asleep, Fu Sian helped her tuck in the corner of the quilt before leaving. He still has something to do. In the afternoon, when Fu Sian took Sang Noa to Feng Shuhan's hospital for a check. Up, Sang Noa was surprised to see that Feng Shuhan's face was bruised and purple. Doctor, what's wrong with you? Sano, who has always been introverted, couldn't help but wonder. Upon seeing her speak up and inquire, Feng Shuhan looked at her and Fu Sian behind her with a resentful expression on his face. After holding back, he said, I didn't have long eyes when I walked so I accidentally bumped into the wall. Are you so careless? Sano looked at him in a daze, as if he was too careless and not quite in line with his profession as a doctor. Seeing the questioning in Sanoa's eyes, Feng Shuhan's resentment grew even stronger. Just as he was about to say something, he saw the giant Buddha behind her and immediately vented his anger, 
saying, All right, I've already arranged it here. The nurse will take you for an examination later. After Sanua obediently followed the nurse for a check. Up, Feng Shuhan finally turned serious and looked at Fu Xian, Boss, what are you really preparing for? If you don't act, then abstain for 30 years. If you act, then let a just 19 year old girl conceive his child. Is this finally a change of mind? But it also changed too quickly. Fu Sian originally wanted to smoke a cigarette, but when he touched his empty pocket, he remembered that he had already thrown away all his cigarettes. He slowly walked to Feng Shuhan's desk and lightly tapped his index finger on it, saying, it was just an accident. He didn't expect his previously self-assured self to repeatedly break principles due to Sano. This child came too suddenly, and Fu Sian didn't even consider how to treat him and Sano in the future. He only knew that whether it was this child or Sano, he would stay first. If you let those in your family know, they probably have to take the person back to the Fu family to confess now, Feng Shuhan said casually. Fu Sian's parents and old lady have been wanting him to get married and have a child for a long time. However, Fu Sian withstood the pressure from his family and has been single until now. His family has long been extremely anxious, constantly seeking someone to date him. At first, Fu Sian was a well-matched young lady, but later on, as long as she was beautiful, had a good personality, and was not picky. Later on, seeing that Fu Sian was not interested in women, he even found several beautiful boys for him. After learning about it, Fu Sian's face turned black. They didn't dare to smile in front of Fu Gu, as it had been passed down from behind for a long time. So we can't let them know. At least for now, we can't let them know. It's not that Sano can't stand it, it's just that his family's people are too flamboyant and do a bunch of unreliable things. He's afraid that his family will scare Sano. As we walked through the VIP channel, Sanua's examination time was not long. Feng Shuhan received the results and carefully read them, saying, Congratulations, the child is very healthy. As long as we take care of the fetus normally, we can do it. I will send you the specific details later. Although it had already been tested with a pregnancy test stick that day, Fu Sian finally felt completely relieved now that he had obtained more accurate results. By the way, Sister Dotin Law, I see you just finished the college entrance examination. Did you check your grades? After finishing the main task, Feng Shuhan began gossiping. Upon thinking about it, Brother Fu is too wild. Sang Nua is still a little girl. This is purely a case of old cows eating tender grass. Sano nodded awkwardly and said, I haven't crossed a single line. Despite repeating her studies, Sano still couldn't get into a university. She felt a bit disappointed and thought it might be because she was too stupid. Her cousin got into a good university and has now gone abroad to study. Last year, she didn't get into college in the college entrance examination. Her aunt compared her to her cousin every day and told her not to study at all. Anyway, her grades were not good, and it was a waste of money to study. Seeing Sanoa feeling down, Fu Sian looked at Feng Shuhan with a displeased expression. Looking at his broken mouth, Feng Shuhan let out a sigh. His facial injury was still fresh, why is it that he doesn't have such a long memory? He quickly made up for it and said, It's okay, sister. In. Law. You can still take the postgraduate entrance exam. Our Fu brother is a top student with dual degrees in finance and mathematics from Ting University. Sano widened her eyes, Ting School. She had heard of the Ting School Alliance formed by the top schools in M country, and those schools were all the top in the world. Her cousin initially applied to these schools, but none of them were successful. Unexpectedly, Mr. Fu obtained a master's degree from Ting School, which is still a double degree. This is really impressive, isn't it? The girl looked at Fu Sian, her eyes filled with tiny starlight, making Fu Sian's always cold and hard heart soften. Feng Shuhan, who was standing beside them, looked like they had seen a ghost together. He had just passed away, and Fu Sian could even laugh. 
Chapter 10. Mr. Fu's Grandma. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Sano and Fu Sian were kicked out by Feng Shuhan. As a single dog, Feng Shuhan protested against their constant scattering of dog food, and finally got tough and kicked Fu Sian out of the house. Fu Sian was too lazy to argue with him and drove back with Sano. Has the school been chosen yet? In fact, if a girl wants to go to a good school, Fu Sian can definitely send her abroad. However, one thing is that Sano is still pregnant with a child, and if she wants to go abroad, she will have to wait until the child is born. Secondly, even if Sano gave birth to a child, Fu Sian was not sure if he would be willing to let the person go. I enrolled in a local school. Sano said a school name that Fu Sian had never heard of. After all, she had lived in a city for so long and had long been accustomed to it. Moreover, her good friend Tang Yunyun also enrolled in schools in a city. She also hoped to see Tang Yunyun more in the future. Fu Sian was very satisfied, but then he thought of another thing. You are pregnant and it is not convenient for you to go to school. I can help you apply for a one-dot-year leave of absence and wait until you have a child before attending classes. He thought it was the most appropriate thing to do, but he didn't expect the obedient and clever Sano to hesitate for a moment and slowly shake his head. Mr. Fu, I still want to go to school, he said although Mr. Fu's arrangement is very reasonable, Sano still thinks it's not good. She is a student, she has to go to school. In the future, you can apply for a leave of absence when the month is older, but now that the month is still small, it doesn't actually hinder anything. Fu Sian frowned and said, no way. Although it's just going to class, there are so many people in the school. What if there is a bump? Besides, nowadays college students are restless, and Fu Sian thinks it's unsafe. He subconsciously ignored that he didn't actually want to see Sano and those male college students of her age talking and laughing together. I will definitely take care of myself, I promise Mr. Fu. In the matter of going to school, Sano also has his own persistence. She really enjoys studying. She used to work at her aunt's house and didn't have much time to read. Now that she finally has the opportunity, how could she be willing to give up? What's more, Sang Nua was a little confused. In fact, she didn't get along with Mr. Fu very long, but Mr. Fu and everything he brought were too far away for Sang Nua, which made her feel insecure. Going to school, like normal peers, could bring Sang Nua a little sense of security. Fu Sian lowered his eyes and looked at the girl's face, which was tense and firm. He sighed helplessly and made a rare concession, saying, you can go in the first semester, but you must take a leave of absence in the second semester. Let your aunt take care of you at home. Seeing Sano nodding his head quickly, Fu Sian added, I will help you take leave for military training and physical education classes, and I will also help you with day school. I will pick you up from school, and if I don't have time, I will also find a driver to pick you up and drop you off. Be careful at school. No matter what he said, Sano agreed seriously. It was the first time she had heard Mr. Fu say so much, it was even more meticulous than any parent who would send their child to college. Fu Sian still felt that he didn't say enough, and wished he could put down his work and just accompany Sanua to school. Although with his education, he also went to become a lecturer. When he was thinking about any further details that he hadn't taken into account, his phone suddenly rang. Fu Sian used the car Bluetooth to connect it, and the voice of his old empress dowager came out of the receiver. Si Yen, are you available recently? Grandma has helped you find some good girls. Would you like to meet them? Although Fu Sian refused as usual, his grandmother is someone who perseveres like him, the more setbacks he faces, the braver he becomes. Over the years, she has never given up on urging her to get married, and whenever she sees an excellent girl, she wants to introduce her to Fu Sian. No need, Grandma, Fu Sian softened a lot in front of his family, even though he was cold and hard on outsiders, don't speak so fast, you haven't seen anyone before. I'll tell you, that's a good kid, with an impeccable appearance and a good temper. 
you really can't find a second one. Is it Mr. Fu's family who wants to introduce him to a girlfriend? Sano was a bit stunned and embarrassed. She knew that it was impossible for her to have any relationship with Mr. Fu as her, but the thought of her carrying Mr. Fu's child and whether Mr. Fu was dating or marrying other women made her feel a bit embarrassed. If it sounds good, it's a lover, but if it doesn't sound good, it's a mistress. Sano was lost in thought when he heard Mr. Fu beside him speak, I really don't need it. I already have someone around me. A quiet sentence fell, and both Sano and the person across from him were stunned. There were screams of surprise from the other side, not just one, but three. Sano also heard an incredible voice from a man and a woman. Is someone around him? When did it happen? I don't know either. Fu Sian has become accustomed to the practice of these two people eavesdropping on phone calls at home and has long been accustomed to it. The people over there lowered their voices and muttered for a while, then Grandma Fu asked again, is what you said true or false? Last time I asked you, it seemed like it wasn't there yet, right? Really, Fu Sian answered decisively, disdainful of deceiving others. The person across from you also knew this. After a while, Grandma Fu hesitated and said, Is that person next to you, a woman or? Sano seemed to have learned some big news and stared at Fu Sian with wide eyes. Mr. Fu, is it true that men and women are not taboo? Female. Fu Sian answered quickly this time, especially after seeing Sano's gaze, he said that these people at home are unreliable and he must not let Sano see them too early. Then hurry up and bring it back to Grandma to see. Tomorrow, no, today. Grandma asked the chef to cook a good table of dishes tonight. What do you think she likes to eat and if there are any taboos? Hey, how old is she this year and what is her surname? At first glance, upon hearing that she might have a granddaughter-in-law, Grandma Fu was so excited that she didn't know what to say, and her words were like a barrage of bullets. Fu Sian was helpless, and Sang Nua beside her was even more shocked. In her impression, the wealthy family should be as noble and indifferent as Mr. Fu, with strict rules in every move and gesture, unlike ordinary people like them. But when I heard this phone call today, Mr. Fu's grandmother sounded so lively. She is simply a sunny and cheerful old lady. Let's wait a while. We haven't been together for long, she's shy. Fu Sian didn't lie. He did know Sano recently, and he did have a shy personality. However, he didn't say that this shy little girl who hasn't been together for long is already pregnant with his child, he was afraid that his grandmother would accidentally be so happy when she heard this news that she might have a heart attack.